So you're thinking of trying to use two PCs to live stream, but at face value it seems a little complicated. Well, it's not, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first up, the big question, why would you do this? What's the point of a dual PC streaming setup? And the reason here is that it allows your gaming PC to focus solely on running the games you're playing, whilst at the same time your streaming PC handles everything on the streaming side. Now the main advantage with this is that it allows you to run your games at a much higher FPS and possibly even resolution when you're streaming. For example, a lot of you watch our channel mainly for our immersive sim racing content. And to achieve this kind of footage, we're running a triple screen resolution of 7680 by 1440p. So there's no way that I'd be able to get that usual 90 to 100 FPS when I stream without using a separate streaming PC. So now we know why, let's start with what we need. First, we need two separate PCs. Now the streaming PC doesn't need to be particularly beefy or anything, just enough to run some streaming software and stream at 1920 by 1080p at 60 FPS, which is the standard for platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. Next, we need an external capture card like this NZXT signal. I'll leave a link to it in the description below for you. Now these external capture cards usually come with three components. The capture card itself, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and an HDMI cable. Last up, you need to have streaming software such as OBS or Streamlabs installed on both your gaming and streaming PC. So first, let's set up our capture card. Take your HDMI cable and plug one end of it into a free HDMI slot on your gaming PC. Then take the other end of the cable and plug it into the in port of the capture card. Next, take your USB-C to USB-A cable and plug the USB-C side into the slot of the capture card. Then take the USB-A side and plug it into a free USB slot on your streaming PC. Now if you've got a free USB slot at the back, use that. I've only plugged this one into the front for the purpose of this video. Now some capture cards require their own software to be installed. This NZXT one doesn't, but if yours does require it, you only have to install it on the streaming PC, not the gaming PC. Now once the capture card's set up, it should automatically be registered as a display on your gaming PC, as you can see here in our NVIDIA control panel. Let's head into our display settings. Now you can see we have two displays here, the physical monitor or monitors that we use and the virtual monitor from the capture card. All you need to do here is align the virtual monitor to the physical monitor and make sure you have extend these displays selected on both of them. Then make sure that your physical monitor is set as the main display. Now open your streaming software. In your scene, create a new display capture and choose your physical monitor as a display. Now resize the image if you need to. For example, since I use a triple monitor resolution, I adjust it so that only what's showing on the middle monitor is displaying in the scene. If you're only using one monitor, you probably don't need to worry about this though. Now let's head over to the streaming PC and open our streaming software there. Create a new video capture device. Click add source. Now in the drop down menu, your capture card should be an option, select that. You'll see a preview box of the source here. My preview is black because I've already got the capture card in use. But for you, it should be showing a preview of the desktop from your gaming PC. Choose the resolution that you want the capture to display at. You could go higher than 1080p by 60fps depending on your capture card. I'll leave a link to all of my streaming settings in the description below as a starting point. Now for our last step, go back to your gaming PC. Now in OBS, right click on the preview and click full screen projector. Then select your capture card display. And now you'll see that the preview from your gaming PC's physical monitor is now displaying on your preview in your streaming PC. Now just note, you'll need to open the full screen projection every time you stream as it's not an automatic process. Now when it comes to the audio, here's what I recommend you do. I run all of my audio, including my gaming PC audio, through my headset on the streaming PC. But what I did was create an audio output source in the streaming PC, and chose my headset as the source. Then in the advanced audio options, set that source to monitor and output. Then all of the other outputs, including the capture card, are set to monitor only. This keeps things simple so that the software is only processing the one output, but still allows you to adjust the volume of each source with the sliders if you need to. And then that's everything set up and you're ready to go. Now hopefully you found this guide helpful and as always, if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.